In this lesson, we're going to look at viewing and organizing the library section here in the Books app. I've added a few books, so this library is getting a little more full. First, here in the upper right, we can switch from an icon view of the book covers to a list view. We're also able to sort the library in different ways. Currently, it's sorted alphabetically by title on both the iPhone and iPad. We can also sort by most recent, author, or manually. When sorting manually, just tap and hold momentarily on a book and then drag to rearrange. This will work in either list or icon view. Tap on the Edit button and we can select books to either delete or add to a collection. Before we start doing that, let's take a look at the other current collections. All these collections are here by default, and books are added to these collections automatically. I am able to take books out of the Want to Read collection by tapping on the ellipsis and choosing Remove from Want to Read. Complete a book and it's going to be added to the finished section. We can also manually do this by marking a book as finished. Now I'll add a couple collections of my own. One I'll name Travel and the other I'll call User Guides. To bring a few books into the travel collection, I'll tap the edit button, select the books I want, and then tap add to down here and choose the travel collection. Notice that adding books to a collection doesn't remove them from the main library view. Next I'll add the two PDF user guides into their collection. Now we can quickly jump into our custom collections to view only those books within them. Notice that collections can also be viewed by icon or in a list, and they have the same sort options. To remove a book from a collection, tap the ellipsis button next to it and then remove. We can remove the book from just this collection, remove the download to save storage space, hide a book and it will be removed from the library on all your iCloud devices. To remove a collection, just swipe left on it in the list here. When a collection is removed, the books within it will remain in your library. So whether you make collections for certain authors, topics, or other categories, as your library grows, organizing with collections can make it a lot easier to browse and find books in your library. 